still typing data into Excel one cell at a time? What if you could enter everything through a sleek form with buttons, dropdowns, and smart validations all built in minutes using AI? Sounds cool? Let me show you how. Hey everyone, welcome back to Tech to AI, where we bridge tech with AI. In this video, I'll show you exactly how I use DeepSeek AI to build a fully functional employee data entry form in Excel, completely from scratch. Whether you're in HR, manage inventory, or just want to stop the manual madness, this tutorial is a game changer. No coding, no stress, just step-by-step -step guidance with a screen-recorded walkthrough so you can follow along, pause, and build your own smart form in minutes. By the end of this video, you'll have a professional-looking Excel user form that's fast, efficient, and seriously impressive. Let's jump right in. Let's start by opening DeepSeek AI. I've decided to create an employee data entry user form. I've already planned what and how many text boxes and buttons I need. So I'll paste this prompt into DeepSeek. I've written, create Excel data entry user form with six text boxes, employee ID, date, employee name, department, designation, salary, and two buttons. Send data, clear form. Provide detailed and clear instructions. According to your own requirements, you can add any features you want in the prompt. If you want, you can even create an edit button. Whether it's for office, school, or business, you can make a data entry form for any purpose. Now let's hit enter. Within a few seconds, DeepSeek will give us all the code and detailed instructions to create the user form. Now we don't need to do anything except follow DeepSeek's instructions step by step to build the form. Let's begin. The first thing it tells us is to open an Excel sheet. So let's do that. Next, we need to go to the Developer tab. If the Developer tab isn't visible in your ribbon, go to File, then click Options and go to Customize Ribbon. At the third spot from the bottom, you'll find the Developer option. It will likely be unchecked. Check the box to enable it. Click OK. Now you'll see the Developer tab. Click on it. Then click Visual Basic. Click on Insert and then click on User Form. Now a user form has opened. You can drag to resize it, or you can enter your desired height and width manually. We'll also customize its color and other settings right away, so we don't have to come back later. Let's choose a light color. Now we need to rename the user form. Let's paste exactly what DeepSeek has given us. In the name field, copy and paste the given value. In caption, paste employee data entry form. What we write in caption is what we'll actually see displayed. In the next step, DeepSeek tells us to create six labels. So let's create the labels. Click on the A icon. This is the label. Drag to create it like a tab. This is our first label. Let's customize it first. Let's also change the font. Choose a four color.
This blue looks good. Now while holding the control key, click and drag to make more copies of the same label. Now we have six labels. Click on the first label. Its properties will appear on the side. Copy the name DeepSeek has provided. And paste it into the name field. Label names always start with LBL. Now one by one, we'll change the name and caption of all labels just like we did for label 1. If you want to change the font size or style, just select them all and make the changes together. Now we need to create six text boxes. In the toolbox, click on this option and then click and drag to draw a text box. Set its height and width. You can change its color if you want, but I prefer to keep it white. Now use Ctrl plus click to duplicate it. Now we have six text boxes. Now click each box and change its name, just like we did with the labels. Copy the name DeepSeek has given for the first text box and paste it here. You don't need to change the caption for a text box. It's identified by the label next to it, right? The name of a text box starts with TXT and it should not contain any spaces. If you forget to write ext or add a space between words, it will cause an error. Let's rename all the text boxes accordingly. Now we need to create two buttons, as per our requirement. In the toolbox, click this option to create command buttons. Now change the name and caption of these buttons as guided by DeepSeek. We'll also change their color, etc.
Now our user form design is complete. But to make it functional, we need to copy the code DeepSeek has provided. Click anywhere on the user form. A module will open. Paste the code here. If you see end sub written twice, just delete one of them. That's it. Now close the module. It will save automatically. Our user form is now completely ready. Now we need to create a button to open this user form in our Excel sheet. DeepSeek has given two methods for this, but we'll go with the first one. For this, we need to prepare our worksheet. Let's create the headers in sheet 1. In A1, employee ID. In B1, date. In C1, employee name. In D1, department. In E1, designation. In F1, salary. Let's adjust the column widths a bit. Now let's test if the user form is working properly. Enter some data. Click Send Data. Look, it shows data saved successfully. Let's try it once more. This means our user form is working perfectly. Let's improve the design a little. Select all and center align the text. Increase the text size a bit and make it bold. Add all borders. Give the header a background color. Uncheck the grid lines. Now let's create a button here, which we can click to open the user form. Go to Developer, click Insert, and under Form Controls, click the Button tab. Click and drag to create a button. Right click the button and click Assign Macro. Look for FRM Data Entry dot show. If you can't find it, then click on New to open the VBA editor. Now copy this code and paste it into the VBA editor. Close 
close the editor. Right click the button again and go to assign macro. Now you'll see open data entry form in the list, select it and click OK. Edit the text and rename the button. You can name it anything you like. Now exit design mode and test the button. It's working. Whenever you click this button, your user form will open. Enter data here and click send data. The data will automatically be sent to the sheet. So your work just got easier thanks to this tool. The best part is we made this tool ourselves without any coding knowledge. In the same way, you can design any user form as per your requirements. Since this video is getting a bit long, I'll continue in part 2, where I'll show you how to automate the date field so it updates on its own, and how to add smart drop-down lists to text boxes for faster and more accurate data entry. These features will take your Excel user form to the next level. If you'd like to see the next part, drop a comment below and let me know. Your feedback really helps. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you won't miss when part 2 goes live. Now to save this form, click on save as, choose where you want to save this file, name the file. Choose Excel macro, enabled workbook, click OK. Your form is saved now, please give it a thumbs up. It helps the video grow. For more helpful videos like this, do subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to share this video with your friends and colleagues. Thank you for watching till the end. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.